Hi guys, it's Tiny M and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing a wig as usual, <laughs> per usual. But today's wig is from a company called Motown Trust. And this is the stock card. Okay? Her name is L. Splash. So L. Splash, and I have her in the color 4. I tend to go for more brown colors when I pick normal natural colors. So I go for the 2s and the 4s. And um, I actually got this during a sale on heretobeauty.com. They were selling wigs for like $14.99 and under. And I snagged this one. This was a while ago, so I don't know if it's still going to be available for that price or if it's going to be available at all. And um, she's basically a long curly wig. There is no part. So the, the cap construction is a lace section. Like maybe two inches deep right here in the front. And it goes from, and it tapers off going from uh, ear to ear. And it is hard lace. So this will stay. There's no um, gluing down that you need to do if you don't want the wig to fly back. Um, let me see. Are there combs? I don't really worry about the combs, guys. And you, honestly, you shouldn't either because the combs can be damaging to the hairline. But I do remember there being combs in the wig. And, um, also, there is adjustable straps and a comb in the back. I do use a comb in the back from time to time so it can stay down in the back and, or it can feel more secure. And I just take the, uh, adjustable straps and snatch them together and that's how I secure my wigs. Some there are baby hairs on this wig, surprisingly. So um, I didn't like. I wanted to have like a natural look. So all I did was like kind of brush them down a little bit. Sometimes I like baby hairs slick down and whatnot, and sometimes I don't. Most of the time I don't. I like it to look as natural as possible. But if the hairline does not look natural, I tend to use the baby hairs to cover that up. So I'm going to go ahead and back up so you can see the whole wig in its full glory. So this is how she looks. This is how she looks in the, with all the hair pulled forward. It is a lot of hair. I like the curl pattern though. It's really, I like the long loose curls. I'm all, it's like my favorite all time curly or natural hair look. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn around. So she does come down to my butt unstretched. So I'm going to say she's about 18 inches unstretched. Stretched, she's about 22 to 24 inches. If you ever decide to uh, flat iron her because she is heat safe up to 400 degrees. As far as the hair texture for curly hair, I don't really go off of the texture. Um, it is not a yakky texture curly wig, which would probably make it more... Um, it would make it more um, afro texture hair friendly like for, for black women but this hair is like a silky texture but curled so it gives it a either it gives it more of a latina vibe to it so i like the hair though i really do i like the hair um it's this because it doesn't have parting in the front a flip over method would be better but you know hey um it actually i like the flip over method for me so i don't have any pros i mean i don't have any i don't have any cons with this wig i actually like the wig i like how um the curls are i like that it's really big and fluffy i didn't really do too much to the curls i probably like ran my fingers through this to like fluff it out but nothing like crazy no crazy raking or anything um, it does have hard lace, however, I don't have an issue with that. I don't really care about hard lace as much. I don't wear a lot of hard lace wigs. 
and I don't wear them for a long time so it doesn't bother me so thanks for watching this review any questions I didn't cover um, I don't know about any tangling um, or shedding because I haven't run my fingers through the wig and you really don't need to so I don't have any issues with that um, so if there's any questions I did not answer you could definitely leave it down in the comment section and I would respond as soon as I see the message and um, yeah so don't forget to like subscribe uh, don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell and then you can go over to my Facebook Instagram and Twitter to follow me because I always post pictures of wigs that I will be doing reviews on I'll post them there before I uh, make the videos thanks for watching Bye.